everyone. You ready? You game? I'm game. Game. It was the first year we saw the now normal lineup for the Clippers with Russell Westbrook moving to the bench and Terrence Mann going into the starting lineup. Uh, Vita Zubac wasn't feeling great, so Mason Plumley comes in, basically plays the entire second half. Clippers battle back and win. If they're going to double Kawhi and PG and maybe James Harden, he'll be the guy they probably double off of. And, and he'll be right there, and he's prepared himself. And ooh, this is one of the no better examples than Amir Carson. Jalen Green takes a lot of mid-range shots. I don't know if he's successful enough at them, but he is a gifted player and has really seen his production. Moon. He's really good in the mid-range. Has a high vertical on that jump shot. Plumlee able to top it home. Green, rhythmic three. This one falls for Jalen Green. 33% on the year. He had 26 the last time out for Houston. Going into these guys again, given to where they were a year ago. Well, given where they were earlier in the season. You know, then they made the late run to be able to get back to even have that conversation. And, you know, this second, this this, reserve, this unit right here is really good when the ball hops around. They can make some quick decisions, like right here. See, now, now you're able to find some space and get open and not just kind of standing. Coffee. Trying to feed inside to a cutting Terrence Mann. Intercepted by Holiday. He glides to the rim. About to follow inside. Do they count it? They do indeed for Cam Whitmore. And quite frankly, it was just a lot of fun for the fans to kind of follow in that. They'll have, they'll be making a lot of adjustments. Make no mistake about it. Going up against the Dallas Mavericks is. Holiday loses the handle. Clippers have time. Boston ahead to Brown. Oh, a finish with one second on the clock. Keep your head up. This team could win it all. Totally agree with you on that in regards to kind of it all coming together on the road when you need it at big time. Three falls for Jeff Green. It's 27-21 in favor of Houston. Nice pass. Oh, nice finish as Tice cocks it back. Oh, and the steal off of the inbounds pass. But for a young team to buy into the defensive end, I think says a lot about the respect they have for coaching staff. Well, one of the things I thought too was nice play inside by Thompson. Blocks it, it stays in bounds. Here come the Rockets out of front by three. Deflection, nice play by Mann. Boston is back. Good transition defense there by Bullock. So Mann calls his own number and glides in for the score. Options you give them, the more deadlier they become. Yeah, but you, you have the versatility we always talked about from a defense and offense perspective with your five position and Cam Woodward all the time. It doesn't share either. It doesn't say, like, okay, thanks for the shirt or the jacket. Won't you hook my boys up upstairs? <laughs> she never does that. But when it comes to taking a trip. On rebound goes back to Green. You saw the graphic earlier. One of five players in the 07 draft. Still playing. A little miscommunication that time of where the ball should have been passed to Kobe Brown. That's this is how you make up for it. Oh, Boston with the flush. So you turn it over, but that's how you make up for it by being in the passing lane. And a different kind of coaching style than you see in the league. He is not afraid to call his team out, use the press. Big finish by Tyson side. Tries to play back to the hyper athletic Jalen Green. He takes it back for a three not there. Running rebound collected by Moon. Ahead to Coffee. Sets his feet, fires a three. Oh, it's another big finish. They wipe it away. And they call it offense one opportunity for the Clippers. Moon glances at the clock and will go to work. Drives on Green, stops. Oh, what a pass. Nice finish from Terrence Mann. Clippers have trailed by as many as nine. Give me a break. Yeah. Like, there's, there are so many intriguing matchups going forward here. Whitmore lays it in. It is 55 ball. It was a full house for the first time ever in that game six against Utah where the Clippers went to the conference finals. Terrence Mann counted at a foul. You know, beat you with 30 plus points, and then they end up involving their teammates and really making you pay for over helping on them. Whitmore, blur to the rim and punches it in. A timeout for the Clippers. NBA conversation shifted to the Clippers really being a contender. Uh, put them on the map. Great win in Boston. 100% agree with you. Coffee for three. 
Whitmore with a flat-footed rebound. Oh. That game with Boston was unique, though, because neither team played well. They get out in front and ultimately just ran away with a win. It was an historic shooting night for the Celtics. Not in a good way. Kobe Brown, nice footwork inside. 67-62. Rockets win. They finish the season 500. Clippers win, loser, draw. They're the fourth seed of the West, and they take on the Dallas Mavericks next weekend here. Newfound left-hand sniper view that he has. Landale not there. Gets his own rebound. Jabari Smith, cool intentions for the iron, and he flushes it down. Xavier Moon to get to that opening, just not able to knock it in. Coffee. Ahead to Terrence Mann, and he gently slams it down. Clippers trail 71-64. He figured they would have some good years, but not competing for number one position. Terrence Mann coming off, so that's what you're talking about. Some teams to fall off, some teams you don't expect. You know, kind of quiet. Storm a little bit inside by scoring some points in the paint. Had a difficult ankle injury. Lob to Terrence Mann. Throws it down. But finishing up on Shingun. Maybe they would have been a little closer uh, to the 10th spot had Shingun been able to finish the year. Whitmore inside able to lay it in. I don't think it's as burdening as it would have been in the past if you didn't have the flexibility to have more coaches do stuff like this. But having the time off is huge. Though. Go through that grind in the playoffs. Clippers grab a two-point lead. It's funny, Ty Lue did say something about it. It gives us an opportunity maybe to even overthink some things. And right. For the guy that loves to really tinker around with stuff, I wonder about variables and options that you can put on the table during that time period. But when you have a short time period, you got to figure it out in a nice move. That time by Amir Coffee, so much of a bright upside for the young man. He just puts his head down. He works hard. I think he has so much more to his game to offer. He's athletic. He's going to run the floor. He's going to play hard defense. He can guard the space. He's played all five positions in the G League. Whistle and a foul. Count the basket for Williams. He'll go to the line. It's going to be a challenge, but I think the Clippers come out on top. All right, Lou. I appreciate your time as always. Boban Marjanovic with the flush for Houston. Boban, a movie star. Do you, do you remember that? Well, he was in, uh, what, what was the show? What was the movie? John Wick. I'm desperate. And we, have, we really appreciate all that have, you know, have their hands in the pot, so to speak, to, to make it enjoyable. Barry Smith Jr. Right. knocks it down 94-98. A lot of times they're the brothers holiday. Yep. There are three of them. Drew just got a nice check in Boston. Well-deserved. As Coffee knocks it down over the top of Boban Marjanovic. And that was the game? It, was, it, was, I mean, it probably could have been if they looked at it and said that was it. Marjanovic inside, <laughs> counted and a foul. And he's trying to carry the Rockets to victory here in the fourth. Midway through, don't need it. It's just like liquefied food. Brown for three. Clipper is battling back. Yeah, what is the look? If I want soup, I'll just get a blender and put a pizza in there. And that's all it is. How do you eat your steak? came out and see if you moon lets it fly from the foul line it, it is, is good getting his first career start and having a nice afternoon in that game in denver boban a plus 27 pounds that money in there 105 97 rockets Boston for three. It's good. We got a ball game here. Four and a half to play in the game. How about it? Free chicken. Can we have a dramatic finish here? The final regular season game for the Clippers in downtown Los Angeles. Boston with the steal. Make us proud. Oh, he cocks it back. It's a three-point game. Now we down one possession. Jabari Smith Jr. for three. It's a big one. 108 to 102. 250 to play in the game. Smith down the lane, scoops, not there. Thompson follows and puts it in. 110 to 102. Sit down. The final bucket of the regular season for the Clippers. It is 116 to 105. Stay tuned. We're going to have an interview here.